Hey, it's your buddy Tim Schull doing another Raid Shadow Legends video for Faction War 21 Sacred Order. Now, the first thing I wanted to do was go over my champions because this is definitely some of my better champions to make this run happen. Uh, the, the cornerstone of it is Martyr, uh, who has uh, an unbelievable kit, and her stats are pretty good as well. I, I got her running at almost 5,700 defense at 216 speed with some accuracy to land her uh, decreased defenses. And then I run uh, Godseeker Aniri for her revives and her, uh, and her avoid death uh, passive that uh, helps you avoid death. I got her running at almost 220 to get uh, the heals out as much as possible. And then I run uh, Abbas for damage and decreased defense. And then the, the, all-star of the team, uh, Deacon Armstrong. Basically, every part of his kit makes him really, really good for Faction War 21. And I think probably the most overlooked is this. The A1 with the leech saves everybody, especially with high speeds where he gets a leech on something and we're attacking it a lot. Uh, it keeps me from having to build life steel gear on anybody. So that leech is an amazing A1. And then obviously his... Uh, a decreased defense on his A3 and his turn meter control uh, is amazing. And then his aura is also super helpful. And then uh, the last person I run is Fenix. Uh, to, and I hope that he hits the adds and uh, puts them down so they cannot revive um, with his A1. Plus he hits super hard and uh, makes, the, makes the run uh, a lot easier. So let's get into it. I will start the run and you'll see uh, it'll be totally on auto. And you will see it runs very easily. And I'll, I'll uh, pause the video um, after we get through the first wave or so. And then we will uh, pick it up when I'm at the boss. So you can run Deacon in the lead as well. I just find it's a little more, I'm a little more beefy when I run uh, Martyr with her uh, really, really high uh, increased defense. Uh, in the lead and uh, I, t I tend to build enough speed on my champions and you can see uh, the damage coming out from uh, Abyss is um, is pretty ludicrous really so um, maybe I'll just let this run since I think it does go pretty fast with this team it's a pretty overpowered team but uh, I just tend to have really good champions in this in this uh, faction so um, I always try to get man eater to keep him from casting his uh, unkillable, which uh, just makes the run a lot longer. So, um, and you can see Deacon with his uh, just constant turn meter control, pretty much no one in these waves, um, um, as they say that Norag um, smashes us with his uh, AOE, but um, we're never really in jeopardy uh, in this run at all. Godseeker can pick us up if we need it. And um, she's got that uh, passive where if they hit you for a, a fatal hit, um, she will just bring you right back without uh, even using her revive ability, which is a, it's a pretty nice thing to have. So now this is the same boss that uh, Banner Lords uh, uses, which I think is probably the easiest boss. You just kind of focus the boss, let the ads do what they're going to do. Um, Sometimes if I want to make it go faster, I'll sort of cycle it through and have Fenix kill off the adds so they can't uh, so they can't come back and nuke us. But um, I'm not going to do that this time. We're just going to let it run through. We target the boss, and uh, there's Deacon's Leech gets up, so um, everybody will uh, benefit from that. And the turn meter control... Getting the leech, getting the leech, getting the heals, getting the heals. And we're all pretty much full now. And you'll see the, the, run's, the run's pretty easy. Um, once we get uh, our buffs up and uh, on a rotation, get our defense down, our attack on the main, or our a leech on the main boss, which is super helpful too. So, so we've got both of the ads provoked. You can 
So yeah, I'm hoping Fenix will attack uh, the ad at this point and um, put him down. I may even I may even target him so we can uh, so Fenix can run over there and and um, drop him with his A1. Come on. Yep, there we go. So that one's not coming back, which is always good. If you guys haven't built Fenix out, I would highly recommend it. I, I think he's probably my favorite champion in the game. Uh, just the way he does damage, his block revives. Uh, he's got a uh, uh, block buffs on his uh, A2, I believe. And um, yeah, just a really, really solid epic champion. So it looks like we're going to lose Abyss, maybe. Although without his adds, he doesn't do much damage. So we got the leech up, so we might heal up from it. So he did bring back the, the guy that does a lot of damage. So, But you can see how much healing she's gotten just from that leech. So we got the decreased defense down. Again, she's almost back to full just based on, on Deacon placing that leech. They obviously don't get much... Oh, there she goes. But she's going to pop right back up because her passive will bring her right back when it's her turn. Watch. And boop, there she goes. And we didn't even have to use uh, God Seeker's Revive skills. So, um, again, you know, the heart of this is all epics, right? It's uh, Deacon, Fennec, and uh, God Seeker. And then you can replace uh, the damage from Abyss with uh, someone else. And there he goes. So easy run, another four-star glyph. I tell you, I, I get all four-star glyphs from these. I don't know about you, but hopefully this helped. Uh, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, help a brother out and uh, be kind to one another. See you next time.